morning guys hey welcome back to my channel today is tuesday it is my last day of the work week because it is my birthday week and i took off wednesday thursday and friday for of vacation days so i have off i'm going to spend time with my boyfriend and my kids and it's going to be wonderful if you're new here my name is nasine I am 36, almost 37. I have four beautiful kids, a floofy, fluffy husky, and two kitty kitties. And I would really like it if you gave me a clicky clicky. Um, if you are new here, consider subscribing. Um, I actually left my work parking lot and I'm parked in a grocery store parking lot because I was parked next to a creeper who wouldn't stop staring at me. So I am here. I am, I do mostly videos where I tell you about what I ate in the day, vlog style, how my day is going, if I messed up at all. I do weekly weigh-ins on Mondays, which is actually my Sundays. And recently I've started to upload some videos to um, my Patreon and they'll sit there for a day or two before they come here. So if you wanna see those videos, ahead of time if you do I mean you don't have to but any donation um, a dollar patreon anything anything you want gets you access to everything that I post there I'm going to start posting more things there like recipes things like that so um, it's a work in progress I also am working on some like different t-shirts and stuff as soon as I get my internet back on which should should be Thursday I will be able to edit those images a lot better and I have some cool ideas for t-shirts and stuff also I'll be including some of my like sketches actually somebody asked me to include those so I guess I'll include them anyways I need to stop talking because I'm really hungry but I just brought leftovers for lunch today from last night I made fathead dough um, piggies in a snuggie what Amanda calls them keto ginger if you haven't checked her out please do so she has amazing foods um, this was two my hot dog kind of fell off of the one end so I have already started eating it and then the other one kind of yeah I mean they're cold as well but you guys this is so good you can make this into anything you can make this garlic bread you can make it pizza crust bagels um buns whatever you want I love it it's so easy and actually in yesterday's video I will link that here <laughs> um I showed you how to make it so, and you can put whatever seasonings. I put everything but the bagel seasoning on top is really good. And I had some sugar-free ketchup with it. And it was delicious. So that's what I'm having. I still have coffee from this morning. I brought extra. I've just been living off coffee today. And um, I do have a confession. I ate four of these last night. But I'm pretty sure it was all within macros. I did not track yesterday, you guys. But I didn't really eat a lot yesterday. So I'm not too concerned. I was more concerned yesterday. But after I started thinking about it today, I'm not concerned. So I am going to track today. I need to get back on track of tracking. And um, just because on, on Sunday when I did my weigh-in, I was up 0.4 from last Sunday. So I need to get back on track to track, right? Okay. So I'm gonna drive back to work, I'm gonna eat my lunch, and I will see you guys after work. These women are like, who are you talking to? Cause I'm, of course, talking to myself. Keto is needle, like a fat sack of mosquito. Keto is needle, look at that ninja go. Oh my God, I can't get that song out of my head. I will be sitting at work like, typing stuff in to the computer and I'll just start singing Melanie's song. That is a very catchy jingle. I'm telling you, Melanie could be like, I didn't put my glasses on. She could be like a jingle writer. Like she's good. Anyways, I'm off work. I am on my way home. Obviously I'm at a light. <laughs> um, I wanted to say a big oopsie. I need to update the end of my Patreon page because for some reason it was showing a former patron. How do you say it? Patron? A former patron still there 
when somebody else had kind of taken over that slot. So here's the thing, I'm not sure. It says two patrons, but when I go in the, the thing, there's actually three and there was four, but one of them stopped. And so it wasn't showing the one. Anyway, she messaged me. I'm so sorry, Trisha. I will get that updated. And um, so I have Trisha, Samantha, and Kyle. And Kyle has been, he I think he was my very first patron and he has continued to be my patron. He actually has a YouTube channel, 100 and onward. If you haven't checked him out already, I know a lot of you have already checked his channel out because I shouted it out many times previously if you've been around here for some time. Um, but yeah, check him out. His channel 100 and onward, I actually heard about him from Life by Jen, who is another channel that you should check out. She recently just switched over to Keto and she's doing really good. And I'm very proud of her, very proud of her. And um, I heard about Kyle from Jen and then I started watching Kyle and he's a great guy, he's so funny. Trisha has been a subscriber of mine for some time now. And she always has beautiful, positive things to say that help lift me up and make me feel good about myself. And she's the type of person that you, you are glad to have around. And then Samantha is newer to my channel, but I've had some great conversations with her on Instagram and she's so kind. She's so kind. I love having conversations with her. She's funny too. Very funny. <laughs> um, but those are my patrons and I love them. So today is officially my start of my vacation. Now I'm off work and I am off work until I, I go back on Monday. So I'm excited about that. I'm not going anywhere special. I am going to pick up my boyfriend. He was gonna drive here, but his car started making a funny noise yesterday and they advised him not to drive at a far distance. So I will be going probably Thursday night I will stay the night there, then we will come back and he'll spend the rest of the weekend at my house and we're going to go to the beach and that's probably it and just enjoy each other's company and hang out with the kids. They really miss them. So that'll be fun. I look forward to that. Crazy to go to the beach. I don't even know if my swimming suit fits me anymore and that may be a problem. Might have to try that on tonight because I got that when I wore a 3X and I'm on the 2X to extra large size right now. So will it fit me? I mean, my boobs were busting out of it before. Don't you dare be bet me, this progressive thing. My boobs were busting out of it before, but um, kind of nervous now. And then I had bought another, it was like a two piece swimsuit last year when we had gone to Illinois at Target when I was at my boyfriend's and like the top I think still fits me because it was like I'll you know what I might be able to make this work maybe the top is like a flowy long sheer part that comes down so you can't really see through it and I think the top would probably still fit me the top was a um a 2x or was it a 3x I don't remember I'll have to try it on but the bottoms they didn't have a size 20 bottom when I wore a size 20 and the next one up they had was like a 24 and so I just grabbed it and it was like a skirty type bottom and it kind of like stayed up but it kind of didn't but I still wore it anyways because I it needed I needed a bottom I didn't have a suit and I didn't want my boobs hanging out so I didn't want to wear the other one the other one is a torrid suit so it was really expensive and I got it a long time ago and I never I wore it one time to a lake but I wore like a tank top and shorts over it because I was so embarrassed in my body so I'm hoping when I go to the beach this weekend that I won't feel that way and I'll just wear my swimming suit and I will feel like better about myself I'm hoping I'm scared. I'm scared just thinking of trying it on. I mean, I'm gonna have to wear one or the other. Like, I'll have to wear that top 
and then like some shorts or something if the bottoms don't oh I know the bottoms won't fit are you kidding me I wear a size six between a 16 and an 18 right now there's no way that those size 24 bottoms are gonna fit me and I don't know so I'm, I'm scared but I'll have to wear one of them or a combination of them or something I don't know so we'll figure that out tonight also, I got a $15 gift certificate to Starbucks You from Allison. She has a YouTube channel. I will link her down below. I'm going to be, I'm working on a collab with her. And it's so funny because somebody in the comment section said to me, um, when was it? Uh, not in yesterday's video, but the day before. They're like, you need to cut out Starbucks. And... I know, like, I have actually cut out Starbucks out of my budget, obviously, because I cannot afford it right now. But you guys keep giving me gift cards to it, and you're supplying my caffeine addiction to Starbucks. And I said, um, I know I only have a few dollars left. I've been getting gift cards or, or whatever. And then, like, I think I have, like, a dollar, eight, like, a dollar eighty or something left on that gift card, you know? And then um, I had a message that was like, check your email. I checked my email. I got a $15 Starbucks gift card. I started with Ella. Ella gives me a Starbucks gift card. And then Shannon gives me a Starbucks gift card. And now Allison gives me a Starbucks gift card. And it's like, it just, my God, you guys just want me caffeinated. <laughs> I can't complain because I love Starbucks coffee. It's so good. It fit. Oh. And then I can also get things other than coffee, you know, like the other drinks I can try. It's so freaking good. I sound like a valley girl. It's so good. Yes. Um, so yeah, making um, an egg dish tonight. You'll see what that is. It will probably be up tomorrow. And that is in a collab with Allison. I feel really bad because I made her wait so long. Oh, sorry. Again, I know you said it's fine, but I'm sorry. And then I have some sort of collab coming at the end of July. There is like a big mass group of us that Jen from In With Jen added me to a group where we're going to be doing a chicken dish. And it's just going to be like one big playlist of everybody with all of their beautiful, um, creations and I thought that that would be really fun and thank you Jen for adding me to that because that is really cool great way to get your um, channel out there and awesome way to see different chicken dishes so I'm excited to do that these women are like who are you talking to because I'm of course talking to myself also um, everybody's been asking me when I'm gonna go live again I'm not exactly sure but I will try to plan another live. Maybe Chris will want to be on a live. That will be fun. He's funny. He really is funny. So we'll have that coming up. And um, I have been getting a lot of questions lately. Maybe I should plan a and a as well. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you guys... I'm making myself have a good day. Where am I? What, how do I not even know where I am? I'm not even in the right direction as the post office. I've completely passed it. All right. I better get off of here because I'm lost in my own town. I'm not lost. I Am I lost? No, I'm not lost. Okay, bye. All right, guys. I can't tell you exactly what this is. I made it for a collab. It will be uh, separate in a video tomorrow. But... This is an egg mixture, <laughs> and you'll see more of it tomorrow. And I put two tablespoons of sole water in with this clear American ice black raspberry. We decided to come to Trestle. We smell and link. It just rained, so it's cool right now. That hurricane has given us some rain here in Michigan. Um, literally right probably about five minutes away from my city is 
the very tip of the path of it, actually. Isn't that what yeah, I gotta get off of here because I gotta keep him out of all that. <laughs> Going to throw rocks off. That's why I like this place. Sometimes there's people that come, they play music up there. Like they play their guitar and stuff and sing. It's a nice park. I wonder if I'll get copyrighted. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog. Um, just so some of you know, you had been asking about how I liked the uh, clear American cherry limeades. They are so good. I was actually talking to Ella earlier, and I was like, you know what would be really good in this? Vodka. She's like, do they make cherry vodka? No. Yes, they do. That would be good. This is really flavorful. What is in it? Probably sucralose. Aspartame is in it. Hmm, I like it. It's good. Very good. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, I kind of want a treat, but I don't have anything. So maybe I'll just have like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I want, I want something. I want like a candy and I don't have a candy. And that's where the problem lies because I, I search and I search and I search for something that I can have and there is nothing I can have unless I make some elaborate thing and I don't have any keto chocolate and I don't have anything. So then I keep eating, keep eating. Stop looking, Christine. Stop looking. <sighs> I almost want to go to Starbucks and just get something sweet with my gift card. But it's late. I don't want to go. Why is it such a struggle? Why can't I just find something that will satisfy me? I shouldn't even be eating anyways. It's 9 o'clock at night. I'm not hungry. I'm just craving something. Oh my god. This is driving me crazy. This is what I'm thinking in my mind right now. Yeah, get something. No, don't get something. Yeah, no, do it. No, don't do it. Yes, do it. No, don't do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, I'm going to go sit down and edit this video and drink my cherry limeade and be happy about life. Bye, guys. Thank you.